Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing an unboxing and I'm sure plenty of you have been wondering where the hell this unboxing has been. Trust me, I've been wondering the exact same thing, but we are going to be unboxing my October Horror Block box. Oh my gosh, you guys, you guys, you guys. So this particular month with Horror Block, I have become extremely fed up and very very disappointed in them um which is kind of what i'm going to be talking about first so if you want to just go right to the unboxing you don't really care what i have to say um i'll have like a timestamp down in the description box so you can just move along to the unboxing if you would like to but i'm just going to give a little bit of a rant and kind of an announcement video uh this is going to be my very last horror block unboxing um, I have actually officially unsubscribed from this subscription box and I have a few reasons why. Um, basically, the number one reason is I want, I need to save money wherever I can. One, because I'm getting a puppy and two, tax season is coming. And secondly, they take way, way too long to ship. They ship these boxes every month on the 25th and we usually don't get them into the next month which to me is absolutely fucking ridiculous. I, they do ship from out of Ontario, Canada, so I know they have customs and I know they have all this kind of stuff, but I just feel like it's just a little bit ridiculous. And if you want to, if you want to call us an October horror block box, maybe you should get it to us in October rather than the literal next month. Like, so that's just been very, very frustrating to me. The third reason is they are kind of expensive. In total, I pay about $30 and some odd cents every single month for these boxes. And yeah, you do get a lot of cool stuff in them, but is it actually worth the full $30 that you're paying? Honestly, I personally do not think so. So I have unsubscribed and um, especially this month, they just, they really kind of pissed me off and a lot of other Horror Block subscribers as well. Um, everyone else who lives in Canada had absolutely no issue. They all got their boxes within a matter of two days. Whereas everyone in the States and wherever else, like nobody got their boxes. Like it is literally after November and I'm just now getting this. It's, it's ridiculous. Like literally when you're watching this video is where my horror block showed up. Like I'm disgusted really. So basically, um, no one received their email this month notifying them that the box was shipped. Nobody received any sort of warning as to where the hell their box was. They have no issue taking the money out of your account on time every month. But when it comes to actually getting your box to you, they literally, like, they just sit on their ass. Like, they, they don't get it to you. And no one got their email this month. So we were like, um, you know, I didn't get my tracking number. I didn't get my shipping confirmation. Like, where is my horror block? And and they were all like, oh, you know, it'll be fine, you know, you'll get it, blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, 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 no. Okay, $30 is not just pocket change. Like, that's $30 fucking dollars. Like, I want to know where my box is, right? And this, this, some people had, like, really bad customer service with them. Um, you know, Horror Block basically told some people, you know, oh, sorry, you're out of luck, SOL, blah, blah, blah. Um, I tried to contact them several times, and it took me the third or fourth attempt for me to actually get through to somebody because I was talking to someone about it on Twitter. And that's how I was able to figure out, you know, what the hell is going on, where's my tracking number, and they were able to get it to me, uh, finally. I don't know what the hell took so long, um, but I still never received an email of any sort. And another thing that they did this month is we were promised a Nightmare on Elm Street item in this box. However, we did not get that item. Um, Apparently, there was like a Freddy Krueger flask that everyone was supposed to get in this box. You know, yeah, which is pretty badass, but I guess there was an issue with customs and they couldn't ship it out with these boxes. So, you know, I mean, that could have had something to do with why it took so long to ship. And I mean, I get it. It's fine. Like, every company has their setbacks, but, you know, announce this shit. Like, let your... Let your subscribers know what the hell's going on rather than let them sit around with their thumb up their ass wondering where their stuff is. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm kind of angered. And yeah, so we basically got another item that replaced the Freddy Krueger item we were supposed to get and that pissed a lot of people off. So yeah, that's basically just what's been going on with the whole horror block issue. And I did finally make the decision to unsubscribe, which that's a whole other story because it took me forever and a day to cancel my account. And that scares the living shit out of me. 
because I deleted my account, they don't have my card information, but how do I know they really don't have my card information, you know what I mean? Like I'm watching my bank account like a hawk now, and it said it's supposed to be canceled on November 9th, the day before they take the money out of my account, at least for me. So, come November 10th, if I see that there is $29 plus a 27 cent customs charge, I am going to be extremely, extremely pissed off and there is going to be a problem. So I'm just a little nervous about, did they even, like is my account actually canceled? I do have an email saying that my account is terminated and that it will completely cut off November 9th. So I better not receive a $30 charge and I better not be seeing another whore block at my doorstep again. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, so yeah, just a lot. It's been really stressful because you put your faith in something and they just let you fall on your ass and they don't explain anything. That is really, really frustrating and that's what has been really getting to me. Now that that is all said and done and explaining where the hell this unboxing has been, we can finally get to the unboxing. And then also the box is wrapped in like a seal. I don't know if you can see or hear that. So yeah, it's a little bit more work to actually get into these boxes, but you know, let's just, let's move on from the packaging and just open it up. Also another thing, I already know exactly what's in this box. Thanks to everybody tweeting me, telling me what was in the box. So in no way is this going to be a surprise unboxing because literally every single time I got on Twitter, people were like, oh, this is in there. We were supposed to get this. They added this item in there. There's this item in there. So. This box is not going to be any sort of surprise to me at all and see what these things look like in person because I'm always anxious to see what they look like in person. So you can hear stuff moving around in there. So let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, I do like the inside of the box. That's kind of cool. It has like all the little villains and characters in there. Okay, I do like the inside of the box. I really don't understand why there's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle in here. That's not scary at all. Adventure Time and a Minion. What? Why is this, why is this in the horror block? <laughs> okay, okay, so the shirt is the very first thing on top. And um, I do know that this is a Halloween item because people told me. So let's see what it looks like. Okay, this is the Run For Your Life Enfield High Horror Track Team 1978. Okay, so here is what the shirt looks like. Obviously it is a Michael Myers shirt, which I do really like. I was hoping for a Michael Myers shirt, so I guess I am pretty happy about that. Um, yeah, I guess that's pretty cool. I like that it has the date, and then it has Halloween, and then Haddonfield, obviously, so. The shirt's actually pretty freaking cool. I do like the shirt. Um, I do wish it was more like creepy Michael Myers. Like I wish it was something like this rather than like a Haddonfield track team shirt. I don't know. But still regardless, still really cool. So that was the first thing in the box. I know I usually do the shirts for laughs, but I already kind of knew everything that was in this box. So that's why I didn't do that. Um, moving on to the next item. We have this, and this is a Ouija money clip. That is pretty cool. I just recently went and saw Ouija in theaters, the new one, um, Origin of Evil, I think it's called, and it was really good. Like, it actually creeped me out, and I honestly can't tell you when a movie made me scream in theaters. The last time, and Ouija was able to get me to scream in theaters, so I highly recommend you go check it out. It is a really cool movie. So basically, this is just a money clip where you can clip your money and keep it all together. So here's an up-close view of what the money clip looks like. What is this? The pendulum? No, not the pendulum. Whatever the fuck this is called. I don't use Ouija board, so I have no idea, but the little... Uh, the petulum, I think that's what it's called, the thing that you move around on the board. So yeah, that is really cool. Um, I will be using this because when I am at work and I collect my tip money, um, this will come in handy when I do that. Okay, so the next item in here is a movie, and this is Demonic Toys. I'm actually really, really excited to um, own this now because I remember... 
I swear, what year is this even? Okay, so this movie is from 1992, and I swear I remember when I was younger, I swear I remember seeing this with my brother. Like, I feel like my brother was watching it, and I was just kind of like over watching it, like over his shoulder. So I feel like I know this movie, but I can't wait to watch it for myself to see if I actually remember it. So I'm actually really excited about the movie. I am, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the movie. I do really want to see this. Yeah, I'll probably watch this tonight because like, I don't know, I just feel like like I've seen this before. You can hear a lawnmower. I'm sorry. Apparently people think it's June again. Like literally every single day people have been mowing their lawns. Like what are you even doing? Like it's fall. Like let the leaves be. You know what I mean? The next thing we got is a Dexter item and Dexter I do not consider that scary in any way shape or form. Um, so I don't really get the Dexter item. A Dexter item is like Dexter is like a TV show about a blood splatter examiner who's also like a serial killer or whatever. I don't know. I couldn't really get into the show, but I definitely don't consider that a horror movie item. I don't know. I'll just leave it at that. But yeah, we did get a kind of blood syringe pen, and it just says Dexter right there. So, and the pen doesn't... Oh. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool, I guess. So here's just an up-close view of what the pen looks like. It just has the little blood in there. And then to open it, like that. And then to close it, you just press this little white thing in. So, yeah. Kind of cool to have. Really cool Halloween item. I wish I could have had this for one of my Halloween makeup tutorials. But I will probably use this as, like, a prop next year. As, like, a Halloween makeup tutorial. I don't know. So, I already have ideas of what I'm going to use this for, and it's definitely not a pen. The next item that we have in here, um, I'm actually really excited about it, but a lot of people weren't excited about it. Um, the item that replaced the Freddy Krueger flask is this Walking Dead journal. Now, I don't like The Walking Dead at all. I think that show is just absolutely stupid. But, when I did hear that they were replacing it with, like, a journal type thing, I was actually pretty excited about it because when I do plan my YouTube videos, I do actually use a lot of journaling um, journals to like write ideas down so I'm actually not too heartbroken that I didn't get the flask I mean let's think about it how often am I gonna use a flask opposed to a journal you know what I mean that's the way I looked at it at least um, and I don't like that it's walking dead but you know hey what can you do not much you can do right so here's what the journal looks like. It's actually really, really well made. Like it feels like it has like this faux leather type front and back to it. And it has the swords and then this chick, I don't know her name, in the front. Um, I don't watch The Walking Dead so that explains that. Take this off here. And then it just says The Walking Dead AMC. And when you open it up it has like a picture of whatever the hell her name is. And her again, I guess. And then it also, oh that's kind of cool, it also has little pockets in here. You can like put little like notes or whatever in there and um, yeah the rest is basically just all journaling pages. And I mean granted I'm not that happy that it's a Walking Dead item but you know I, I like the journal. It's very well made, very very sturdy and this will definitely come in handy for when I need to plan YouTube videos so I like it. I don't know what everyone else's problem is. Okay, and then as usual, we got our Rue Morgue magazine. Um, someone said this was the November issue. I don't really know if that's true or not. I really, yeah, it says November 2016. Sorry. Just like a magazine full of, like, talking about horror movies, you know, horror merch, you know, things like that. But they have, like, products you can buy, stuff like that. So, just like a little fun read. And then the last item in this box is actually one that I'm so fucking excited for. As you guys know, we were promised something from Hellraiser from the last horror block box. This month, it is actually a signed picture of Doug Bradley. Oh my gosh, if you do not know who Doug Bradley is, basically he played Pinhead in the original Hellraiser movie. So let's take the picture out. So here's what the picture looks like. This looks like it's about a 4 by 6 So that's what that looks like there. And then here is his signature right there. And then it has Doug Bradley and Pinhead. So that is super cool. And another thing that I really like about it is that it comes with a certificate of authenticity. Um, I don't, like, I mean, does this paper really mean anything? I don't know, but I think it's cool that they include that. And I do think it's cool that they put it in, like, this little plastic covering. Um, I do have one from, was it my last horror block or the one before that? 
where we got a signed picture of PJ Souls. So I now have two signed pictures of horror movie icons, in my opinion. Um, I am gonna get frames for them and put them around my house because I think these are just absolutely cool. Those were literally all text messages. Okay, and then the very last couple things we have in here are just some like papers, like we have one from Dexter. Uh, we have one of these explaining what all of the um, items we got in the box were. We have a couple more of the shirt punch coupon things. And then we also have a card telling us about what's going to be in next month's box. So basically we're going to have something from Krampus, Freddy vs. Jason, and Gremlins. Um, like I said, I'm not going to be doing any more horror block unboxings, but if for some reason they charge my account and I end up with another horror block, then I guess we'll do that. And I'm sorry this is my last one, but it, it just had to come to an end. And then everything that happened in the last couple of weeks of them not speaking to their customers, that just really kind of frustrated me. So it's time to call it quits for a while. Um, I'm sorry, I know a lot of you really, really liked these unboxings and I've done maybe six of them or five of them. I'm not really sure, but I've done quite a few of them and I know a lot of you really liked them. So yeah, but it is what it is for now. So that is everything that I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give me a huge thumbs up and don't forget to go down and subscribe to my channel. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next one. I love you guys, bye.